That was ACDC with Thunderstruck, and you heard it here on AFN, Casey the Eagle, where we're serving America's best for you. And, of course, you know me, Army Private Joe Alamon, here for the afternoon takeover. And this is a very special show. We have Major General Tom Vandal, your commanding general of 2ID, and Sergeant Major Andrew Spano, your division command sergeant major. They're here with us, and we want to say thank you so much for coming in and spending time with us. Say hello to everyone out there and everyone. <laughs> Second to none, this is Warrior 6, Major General Tom Vandal. I just want to say hello to all of our warriors out there in warrior country. I know you're working hard, but uh, we've got a special show for you. We're going to talk about uh, combined division and about the Iron Brigade combat team and the Think Twice campaign. So I'm looking forward to the discussion today. All right. Thanks, sir. Hey, this is Sergeant Major Spano, Warrior 7. And I just want to say uh, hey out there to all the warriors out there. You all knew we were going to be on the radio because when you heard the introduction song, it's like when you walk into a USC match and, and you know, you come and fight, come out to get ready to get in the, uh, the octagon. You play our <laughs> watch-in song. Well, that's it. The Warrior song is Thunderstruck by ACDC. So it's great to be here and uh, be able to put some information out to all y'all and uh, be able to get the message out. So thanks a lot there, PSC again, Allman. Thanks again for being here. We're, I'm excited. It's going to be a great show, so definitely stick around for that. They're going to be talking about great things, so you don't want to miss it. But right now, we're going to go ahead and get you back into the music with Stevie Wonder's part-time lover here on AFN, Casey the Eagle. That was Scandal featuring Patty Smythe with The Warrior. Special requests from the commanding general himself. Thank you so much for that song. Great song. <laughs> I loved it. Great. And uh, right now, we're going to talk about the inactivation of one ACBT and the incoming rotational brigade. Can you tell me all about that? That's right. And about a month ago, it was formally announced by headquarters, Department of the Army, that uh, Iron Brigade, uh, our first brigade combat team, is going to inactivate uh, come this summer, about uh, August time frame. Okay. And they'll be replaced by a rotational brigade combat team. That brigade will come out of... Uh, Fort Hood, Texas, out of the 1st okay. Cavalry Division. They'll rotate over for nine months. But uh, as you know, our Iron Brigade and all our Iron Warriors have been uh, here on the peninsula since 1965. So, um, frankly, their inactivation is going to require a lot of hard work as we set conditions for successful rotation. But strategically, having rotational forces really provides increased readiness and capabilities here on the peninsula to U.S. Forces Korea. Definitely. And uh, can you tell us how will the inactivation of one ABCT affect the security of the rock? Sure, you want to go with that one? Uh, absolutely. Um, what we'll see is we've got a unit that'll be coming, Brigade Combat Team, the Blackjack Brigade okay. out of 1st Cav Division. Uh, they will go through a combat training center rotation. They'll go through their gunnery, and they'll arrive as an intact, cohesive unit as opposed to the individual rotations that we have, we'll have a unit that rotates for nine months. And they'll integrate okay. into the theater, understanding our mission, and we'll quickly um, be prepared to, to fight tonight and be ready. Sounds good. Yeah. And Sergeant Major, how about, can you tell us, will the soldiers rotating bring their family members? Uh, no, the soldiers will only be coming over here uh, for nine months. Okay. Much like when soldiers would deploy to Iraq or Afghanistan, they're going on an operational deployment. Right. So they'll be technically coming over here TDY, temporary duty, uh, here in Korea, assigned to the 2nd Infantry Division, or attached to the 2nd Infantry Division while they're here. So the families will stay back at home station while the soldiers deploy over here and uh, spend their nine months over here in Korea. And Sergeant Major, can you tell us what will happen to the soldiers currently assigned to 1ABCT? Well, the, the soldiers currently assigned to the Iron Brigade, uh, starting starting this winter, uh, some most folks that are normally due to DROS will uh, rotate back to CONUS, back to the United States. And starting this spring as uh, around May time frame when that brigade coming from Fort Hood starts arriving here, of course it's a phased in uh, uh, approach to bringing in the new brigade and as those units come in and start their relief in place and transition, uh, soldiers from the Iron Brigade in that same reverse transition, they will phase out. Roger. So it won't be all one lump sum. Here's 10 planes of soldiers arrive and 10 planes of Iron Brigade soldiers leave. It's over the course of weeks to transition, uh, to transition out. There. That's great. Yeah. Thanks so much for sharing with that with us. And uh, stick around for the next break because we'll be talking about the Think Twice campaign, which Sergeant Major will go over all with right. us. More music coming your way, so stick around. But right now we're going to take another quick break, and after that, more music.